Let me give you some background on Happy. Happy arrived at a local animal shelter here in Saigon, covered in ticks and fleas, really skinny, and completely unable to walk. Now, a couple of our teachers, Mr. Swart and Ms. Rutger, are avid animal lovers, and they're particularly keen on helping dogs find homes. When Mr. Swart first approached Happy at the shelter, the little guy was just beside himself just for being approached. But as excited as he was, as much as he wagged his tail, he could not physically stand up. Apparently, Happy had been suffering from a canine distemper virus that damages the brain and the nervous system. Mr. Swart and Ms. Rudiger knew that Happy didn't have much of a chance of being adopted if he stayed at the shelter. So they offered to pay to clean him up, rehabilitate him with medical care, get him a blood transfusion from another SSIS family dog, and then take him home to foster him. That was back in February. It's late April now, and a lot has changed in Happy's world. He no longer has fleas or ticks, and his iron levels and blood cell count are all back to normal. Best of all, he's up on his feet. Over the last few months, he's gotten stronger and even more playful than before. He walks on a leash, he plays with other dogs, he only chews on his rope, and he sleeps through the night. He still has a limp and a nervous tick. He always will as a result of the virus. But it's safe to say he's now a healthy, happy boy. It doesn't end there. At SSIS, dedicated service isn't always just about people. Some students recently took on the task of helping him out as well. In our high school idea center, one group of students has been developing a special boot to help protect Happy's foot, which still tends to drag a bit as he walks. Another team worked on developing a support system to help him put weight on the same leg. These kids have been measuring, photographing, building prototypes, and testing different solutions, using everything from 3D models and 3D printers to aluminum foil and sewing machines. As it turns out, Happy grew so strong over time, the prosthetic support was no longer necessary. With the love and support and innovative problem solving he's received from our teachers and students, Happy is happier than ever. All he needs now is a permanent adopted home, and this story will have a truly happy ending.